Hey guys, Luke, and I'm here to do a quick video just going over the, Mar the Queensland Maroons side for Game 3, and it's going to be with the use of the Fan Hub uh, for rug Rugby League Live 3, if I can pronounce my words. Um, you can download that off Steam if you want. Now, what I've done, like all the other videos, like the Blues ones I did yesterday, um, just went through, add, removed players, and there was a few ones to actually remove the Blues one, not so much, but um, Queensland one I had to go through and change a fair few things. So, uh, this side looks like... Um, a fairly different back line, I have to say. I mean, there's only the one out, but in terms of a complete, there's been a complete reshuffle. Uh, Inglis is the obvious choice to go to full back at, and he, and he has. I um, mean, other players, Darius Boyd could go back there. Gagai has played full back for the Knights. How good? I'm not really sure, but um, Gagai is coming into the wing to make his debut for Queensland. I don't know how much of wing he's actually played. I mean, he might have started off at the Broncos or something on the wing, or even at the Knights possibly, but. From what I remember, he's always sort of been a centre, so maybe that could be a, a thing Blues could look to exploit, but usually the good, good players can just jump on the wing. Um, they, they, they can play wing. They, they, they just play centre because they're better than playing wing, whatever. Will Chambers moving into the centres from the wing. He had a really good game one. Dropped off in game two, I think. Um, he moving to his unfavoured side, I believe, in the centres. So but that could be something we could also exploit. For this from a Blues perspective, just this part. You could exploit that. Maybe just decision-making combinations, that sort of stuff. But I so it, like it's Origin. They're all good players. They'll all be able to adapt. Now, uh, Cooper Cronk is a huge in for Queensland. Probably their most important player as... Well, he's probably not the most important player, but he, he's one of those ones where, like, without him, they, like, can't really win. And we saw last year... Um, when he didn't play, like, I think he broke his arm, or whatever, he broke something in the first game, and New South Wales won convincingly, in the second game he wasn't there, and we won pretty convincingly, actually it wasn't convincingly, but we, we won, and um, with game one, uh, this year, he's there, he slots the winning uh, field goal, he, he did the job, game two, he's not there, they lose, um, now Cherry Evans, he's dropped out of the side, he's not even on the bench, Cherry Evans is not a bad player, and it's not like he's never going to be a good origin player or anything, it's just right this second, he doesn't quite fit into the Queensland um, side, I think, just the way they play. But, you know, at some stage, all that's going to start, that's all going to start changing when, you know, Cameron Smith's retired and replaced by Seguiaros or Jake Friend or whatever. Game game plans are all going to change. Um, four pack seems to be pretty much the same. Uh, Michael Morgan retains his spot, like we just said before, and I think he's definitely the best option. He's just got too much utility value to not have him in there compared to Cherry Evans, who can only really play in the halves. Um, Papali comes on, he's the hitman for them, I suppose. I think they're probably trying to target Clemmer, well, pretty much just all the forwards, but I think Clemmer in particular. Um, and Papali, he's done it in the past to some other players, and he's probably a good move. But personally, I, I probably would have... I'm glad they went for Papali, because I would have felt more threatened by Dylan Napper. I just feel he's more of a more of a threat at taking out a player. Um, I mean, probably, like, ability-wise, they're pretty similar, but yeah, just... The fact that I feel like Napa can take out a player a lot better than Papali. Um, I was going to say something, but now now I've just like temporarily forgot. Oh yeah, it was about um, English moving the fullback. Now, I've seen a lot of uh, people are sort of unsure what to think of English at fullback. Some people are saying definitely it's like a good move and he's going to rip it up. And there's other people like me who aren't sold on English at fullback. I never have been. Um, for club level, he's pretty good at fullback, but. In, in, like, important games, he seems to go missing. Um, yeah, just... Uh, like, the, the the Australian game is a great example. Came in, played at fullback. I mean, granted, he looks like he has a bit of an injury. He's, it seems he's maybe over it now. I'm not really sure, but... Um, yeah, just something about, like, positioning. I don't know. Just something seems off with him at fullback in those big games. Like, he doesn't want to get involved. But, yeah, like, in the centres, he's so comfortable. But I, I, I don't know. Uh, maybe it's just I'm imagining it. I, I don't think I am, though. I, I do think he actually goes missing in, in those big games. In terms of where it's going to be won, obviously, the halves are going to be super important. Thurston and Kronk. Um, Kronk kicking the field goal in the first game. Could easily come down to that again. I mean, obviously, Thurston can kick it. Even Kerry Smith finally kicked his first field goal last year. Um, but, yeah, he's super important. It's so really those three. And then it probably comes down to whether Inglis can hold up his end. He probably will. He, he probably will. There's a great chance he will. Also, it's up to the the forwards to not get rolled like they did, um, you know, by the likes of Woods and um, Tamu and Clamor and all that sort of stuff. So, um, yeah, that's where the video is going to end. Just my quick thoughts. 
Uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully, I've enjoyed it. If you can leave a like, it'd be very much appreciated. And um, yeah, if you, if you want to leave a comment, go ahead and do that. Follow me on Twitter at Mr. Luke uh, Facebook page in the description below. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye.